Hey everyone, welcome back to another Binding of Isaac Repentance video. Uh, continuing a quest to unlock all of the characters. Doing the tainted characters, so... Samson's next on the list. Let's unlock a detainted Samson. Curse of the Maze, okay. Thank you, Curse of the Maze. Farting baby. Let's skip a big L-shaped room and another room. Um, yeah, Farting Baby is... You know, I just don't have to go into those two rooms if I don't want to. Thanks, Curse of the Maze. It skipped the, it skipped me into the treasure room, and then from the treasure room, it skipped me back out to the starting room. That's pretty funny. I mean, I might want to go do those rooms because, oh my god. Oh, that Curse of the Maze didn't actually Curse of the Maze me. I went into the adjacent room. Going into the rooms, I could get pickups and shit, right? Can also die. That's the trade off. Golden key? On the first floor? Ooh. Yeah, it's gonna be worth the two money to do this. I gotta wait. Get back out. Okay. And then get in there. And get out. Do we fight the boss? Yeah, we're here. Let's go. It's Dangle. Oh my gosh. One. A two. Two is all he does, okay? One. Two. Wow. I don't have a lot of DPS right now. Thanks, farting baby. He got hit and then he farted. God, Samson without taking any hits for bloody lust. There we go. I took a hit for bloody lust. Now my damage is four. Well, we could really use some tears. Tear rate is one of his problems. 2.5 is not great. I mean, he starts with base damage, 3.5. Where he really shines is if he takes hits. So, finding items that allow him to take hits. You know what you really need on him is the dull razor. You could just bloody lust at the start of a floor. HP. Okay. Not exactly what I was looking for, but it's there. Box frames. Card and a cheap pill. Hmm. Not a great shop. Didn't necessarily want this particular room. Well, I guess if we're going to be getting bloody lusted, might as well do it on the floor where we can't get a double deal. We already fought the boss anyway. I would like to find a soul heart before I go down. That would be swell. Could you drop me a locked chest or 20? Because I have this golden key that's useless unless I you know, have some doors to unlock. Exploding shots don't trigger farting baby. That's kind of BS. Exploding shots trigger sloth getting annihilated, though. Okay, these two rooms of the game skipped for me twice. I don't see what's connected to another room. See, how would I have ever known that if I didn't come in here? Farting baby? You want to you wanna fart? No? There you go. Pheromones fart. Devil. I'll keep the hangman in case there's something I need to fly for, but I'll take the... No, I'll keep the hangman. Flight for a room, I think, is better than plus two damage for a room? Maybe. I don't know. Flight definitely has more utility. Stay behind farting, baby, and everything will be okay. Ugh, wow, this was a shitty floor. Yeah, um, I'm gonna take take the hangman down. I didn't get any bombs. I got a golden key and one key. I got five cents. Six cents when I find one penny in these fires. Nope. Okay. Well, this is off to a great start. 
Not really. All right, basement two. At least it's not burning basement. Burning basement. Burning basement is one of the worst, like, upgrades to a location, I think. Like, just... Especially on the first floor, it, it makes it so much more difficult. God, I need a soul heart so I can get my devil deal. And then skip it. No. Uh, come on. There we go. I need damage and I need tears is what I need. It's what every character needs. But for some reason, I really feel it with Samson. Because Samson should be strong, right? But uh, he's got to take all those hits to do it. And on the second floor, if you take a hit without a soul heart, you lose your devil deal chance. So it's like a, you know, you got to make a decision. It's a dilemma. Again, if I could find like something like Dull Razor, that'd be amazing. Oh, this room is absolutely poop. Farting, baby. If you ever farted, now would be the time. Come on, fart. I said fart. It, he just did the push them away fart. Okay, I guess I'm just going to have to shoot him with my tears. He blocked two shots, which is nice. I, I'm going to try to kill the pooters. Hey, pheromones. Okay. I think the pooters killed each other. And this side of the room is safe. Got just no damage. Eventually, I'll start whittling this mass of flies down. Like, okay, now it's just a couple of these guys left. A one, a two, a three. Jeez, Pete. Okay, nothing over here. Two, three. One, two. Key and a key. We're here at the boss. Yeah, let's fight the boss right now. Yeah. Duke of Flies. Okay. You know what? Bomb. Yep. Just get that out of the way. Get my devil deal. We'll go in and see what it is. Oh, damage and range. That's beautiful for Jesus Juice. Black powder or sulfur? Sulfur might not be bad. I might take sulfur. Let's do it. And troll bombs. Okay, sulfur will give us brimstone once every three rooms. And if I find something like the 4.5 volt or even better, the, like, the car battery. Oh, God, the car battery would be amazing. I didn't realize there was still a fly left. Car battery would be the best. This would be really good, too. Um, so let's hope we find some money. We need eight more cents. There was a bomb to bomb a restock machine. There were a couple of shopkeepers in there that could have money in them. Farting baby. Oh, the poison fart. That was your best fart, farting baby. All right. We're up to eight cents. We need 15. I don't know if I've touched it, but I don't want it. Especially since I paid for brim or, uh, for sulfur already. Um, let's go searching over here in case there's uh, some cash or a bomb to get into the secret room slash um. Bomb the shopkeepers. I don't have brimstone available for this room, unfortunately. Come on. Yeah, there we go. The Jesus juice helping me out with my damage. Not so much my tier rate, but damage. Damage is good. Come on. I need 
this is where I used my hangman cart. My hangman cart. Let's use it right now. Now I can buy the thing that I wanted in the shop, which was... I forget. But there was something I wanted in the shop, and now I can buy it. Thanks to bringing down the hanged man card. Oh, look at all this cash. Okay, we'll go into the curse room while I have flight as well. Well, okay, worth. I think we'll, we have, yeah, we have a heart to heal it. Heal up the red heart first, come back and get that. Heal up the red heart first, come back and get that. It was the stopwatch. The stopwatch is what I wanted in the shop. Yeah, 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 yeah. Secret room's probably here. I have no bombs. Alas. Stopwatch. Boom. Voodoo head not worth. If I had a bomb, I would bomb the restock machine, but I don't. Get this heart. Now go back and get the soul heart, the hybrid. Here's the question. I have 10 cents. Do I restock with money, hoping to find like a bomb or a soul heart? I think when well, I've got four keys no I'll wait until the next shop zero bombs kind of sucks I need a trinket too if I'm unlocking the tainted Samson character I need a trinket to, to drop so I can you know leave it in a room let's head on down I also need bombs to find the full card <laughs> Don't really think about that stuff on the basement. You know, we're using brimstone in this room. Yeah, stopwatch is a very good item. I am so glad that I was able to buy it in the shop. Farting baby? Okay. My range is good enough to outrange their creep. I am happy with that. Uh, let's do that when I can use brimstone for every... Oh. Here's the question. Is shoop to whoop if he gives me shoop to whoop is that better than sulfur? It's a two-room recharge. But it's a one-shot. Instead of the whole room sort of thing. Well, I cornered myself because I'm bad. And I took damage. But I had the soul heart. So I did not lose my 33.8% devil deal chance. My tier rate is garbage. Uh. Okay. I don't even have to make the decision as to whether I take shoop to whoop over sulfur. Solid. Double kill. And dead. Give me something good. Trinket? No. Okay. Secret room. I, I'm not going to spend my last bomb, but the secret room's probably above me right there. Yeah, it looks like it's above me. You know what? I'm just going to use this for this room. Because I don't want to have to deal with the things that shoot right at you. You know, shoot, shoot orthogonally. And the mushrooms. Yeah. Alright, fine. Using my only bomb to... Definitely find the secret room. Okay. Just need to make sure I get a bomb back. Okay, we got a bomb. Sweet. Treasure room has Rotten Baby for us. Yeah, I like Rotten Baby. We got farting baby too. We're getting pretty close to conjoined. Which I know people hate conjoined because it gives you a damage down and a tears down. And yeah, you might be right. But I'm still going to take rotten baby. It's flies. He shoots flies. Shoot. 
Jeez, oh, Pete. Well, we got our shop and our boss right here. Uh, might as well go into the shop. It is free because of our golden key. And we almost have 15 cents, so we'll see what's in the shop. There's options, and we're on Catacombs 1. Yeah, we take that. 100%. And we take the Soul Heart. Let's go. Uh, yeah, let's go fight the boss. We have Brimstone up. Oh, it's Bombino. Ooh, with Brimstone, I can hit him before he breaks out. All right, hit the dip before it hits me. Brimstone, Rotten Baby, MVPs. No devil deal, but four soul hearts from the PJs. I'll take it. Still haven't found a trinket. We're halfway through the, the descent. Need to leave a trinket in a room. One of these boss items could give me fucking crack jacks. I'd be okay with that. HP and the trinket I need. Do not take my charge. Trinket. No, no, no trinkets. You know what? Oh, mushroom, or th these mushrooms can have the liberty cap in them. Or I can just kill them before they destroy all the... Oh my gosh. Yep, we're doing that. Uh, here's our treasure room. Wouldn't it be a bitch to not be able to unlock the tainted character because you couldn't find a trinket? That'd be so dumb. Book of Rev is very good. 10 bombs is 10 bombs. B it requires me to use a bomb to get to that. I need a bomb for the full card. If I get a bomb, I'm coming back for the Book of Rev, 100%. If I get a bomb, I'm coming back for the Book of Rev. Jeez, all that's me is hearts and keys. Oh boy. Okay. Rotten baby, go do your thing. Thank you. I don't need keys, game. I need bombs. Well, okay, now I might need keys. But I also need a bomb for that. And again, this is a place where it's like, okay, 10 bombs, book a rev. I'll take the 10 bombs because I'm low on bombs and I've got plenty of health. Even though book of rev is like, ow, health central. Jesus Christ, game, give me something that's useful. Well, why did I do this room without sulfur charged? It's going to try to let Rotten Baby's flies deal most of the damage. That's, that's how Rotten Baby works. All right, at least that wasn't a bomb. I would have been really mad. Yes, yes, I can get these. Do I want to try this? Not yet. Okay. More keys. It's all it's giving me is keys. I can trade a bomb for a bomb. If there's a bomb in the shop. There's Hive Mind. Um, there's not a bomb in the shop. Do I bomb my donation machine for Hive Mind? Yeah. With Rotten Baby, it's totally worth it. And fuck it. I'll go back and just get the 10 bombs item. If I don't find one, that's a lucky penny too. We might be going back and getting the 10 bombs item. My luck is zero though. I don't really have any 
tier effects that do luck. Catacombs 2. Alright, let's fight the boss. It is the husk. Boom. Yeah, Hive Mind Rotten Baby is going to be MVP for the rest of the run. Stapler. I like it. Demon Baby. That would give me conjoined. That would also shoot me with a red flame. I'm not going to take Demon Baby. I don't want conjoined. Well, I have one bomb. I would have to use that one bomb to get the Book of Rev. Book of Rev would also take away my Sulfur. So I'm going to get this. I'm going to get the 10 bombs item. I'm going to go up and get the 10 bombs item. Call me fucking crazy. Secret room can't be there. Where is the secret room? Not attached to this room. To the right here? No. Unless I just wasn't close enough. Boom! Ten bombs. It's not super exciting. And I know the other one was Book of Rev, but I already have an active item I like. No, super uh, secret room's not there. Super secret room up here. Nope. Okay. Need to stop wasting bombs because the game has been very stingy with bombs. Also with trinkets. I need a trinket. Trinkets. Ooh, okay. I'll do that when I have sulfur online and ready. Funny joke, game. I don't need bombs. I got the 10 bombs item. What in the fuck are these rooms that don't give me trinkets? Give me a trinket. Do you guys have trinkets? No, just keys. Oh, I said I was going to go use my um, sulfur in that challenge room. Please drop me a trinket. Taking the zit. Because zit rhymes with trinket. I don't think it does. I think it's technically trinket. Farting baby farting. Good job, farting baby. Oh my god. What's well, going to require me to find a trinket on this run? One penny away from card reading. Oh yeah, I said I was gonna go, eh. I need to do the challenge room. They had two bomb chests in it. We got our sulfur back online. So let's go do that. Please drop me a trinket. That's a ring. I mean, it's damage. I never thought I'd be upset about receiving damage and a rune. But here I am. It's a Perthro rune. That's pretty good. I have found the treasure room this floor, but there's always next floor. Poop. Poop can have the petrified poop. I'm going to shoot all the poops hoping that I find the petrified poop trinket. Please. No. Trinket. It's going to sound like a bomb. Trinket. This is, this is, uh, I'm getting stressed because I may or may not find a trinket. 
I think I can always go fight the beast. Can trinkets be in the curse room? No, but money can. I guess the room reward could have been a trinket. Can trinkets be in black poops? Could the black poops drop me? Um, the petrified poop? Secret room? Trinket? Trying to think of things that automatically drop trinkets like crack jacks or mom's box. What I want in the shop card reading. Card reading will let me get into secret rooms. I'll take it. I'm gonna take that. I don't think that can have trinkets in it. Nope. Alright. Uh, we're we're getting close to the um Depths one boss, and we haven't found a trinket yet. Oh my gosh. The little one. Well, super secret room. Where could it be? Here? 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 Here. I got seven bombs. I'm going to try to find it. Here. Bombs are trinkets. Oh, boy. Oh, another tears down. Balls of steel. All right. Well, that was some bad pills. Uh, I really hope this boss item drops me a trinket. I'm like, why am I only shooting one direction for Are You Wizard? I have um, the stapler. Okay. War. Well, it's not going to be a trinket. It's going to be a ball of bandages. I just blew myself up. Or a cube of meat this time. Do I per throw the cube of meat or do I per throw the next floor's item? I think I per throw the next floor's item. Um, yeah, let's head down to depths two. Not having found a trinket secret room. For the love of God, chest, if you ever had a trinket and you have one now. Our only hope is like buying mom's box in a shop. And I'm still going to do a beast run. And I'll get the mark. But then I'll have to come back later and actually unlock the character. Which is a pain in the ass. Shoot all the poops. Make it darker. Wash trapdoor. Maybe the trapdoor will have a trinket in it. Okay. 
Nope, it has homing bombs. Bubba bomb. Here's the marked skull. I have to remember where it is. It's in the room next to the AWAS, the trap door. This is not looking good for my prospects of getting a trinket. Because I'm going to go to the shop. It's going to be a greed fight so that I can't get mom's box or something like that. Wow! What a deflection! Oh my god. This is the dumbest thing ever. Are there any treasure room items that drop trinkets? I don't recall any. Can the Book of Sin drop trinkets? Just drop the petrified poop. Come on, I've got two chances for petrified poop. I don't think the Book of Sin can drop trinkets. Well, there's the Fool card. <laughs> Do we have all of Gehenna? Like, can I drop one in the... Well, no. Oh, yeah, I could drop the one in the Dad's Note Room, right? I think I have one more floor. Yep, told you it was going to be a greed fight, and I wouldn't have a chance to buy Mom's box. All right, we have the fool card. We might as well fight mom. I dodged that last one that hit me. Well, we got a devil deal. Are there any devil deal items that give trinkets? I don't know. Not Brother Bobby, that's for sure. All right, let's just DTFO. Got a couple more rooms. The room rewards can be trinkets. We've got Buku damage because I've taken so many hits this floor. Oh, if this is a three pip die room, it can reroll things into trinkets. Three pip die room. to one pip. Another fool card. Do I re-roll this? I mean, I've got pretty decent stuff. Judgment. Can he drop trinkets? I don't think so. He can drop hearts. You can drop soul hearts. Can the portable slot machine spawn trinkets? No, look that up. It says a random pickup. Trinkets are not considered pickups. I think it needs to be a, uh, whatchamacallit. Um, um, fortune telling machine. Yep. All right. There's one more room. 
Where's the locked chest here? Okay. Trinket. There's also a super secret room. And the curse room. Let's do the curse room. Meat. Um... Super secret room is probably going to be just south of the shop, huh? Probably going to be just south of the shop. It's a pretty good locked chest. God. Last one. Nope. Can this drop the child's heart if I blow it up? I think it can. I would usually be like, oh, look, lots of money. Not this time. I'm looking for Trinket's game. Well, we've done everything we can on this floor. Except for the boss challenge room, but I am not going to, like, stand in the curse room door to go down to one heart just for that. So, we're going to go head up and head towards the beast mausoleum let's go we need a trinket and put it in the dad's note room we can pick up the cracked key immediately secret room this ain't it hey super lust there's a tinted rock there wow All right, let's do this trinket. Oh my god. This is this is just my luck. Any trinket. Hell, we might have to do this run again just because I don't know if this build with two tier rate and seven damage can beat the beast. Ow. That hurt. There's the dad's note room. Still could find the shop. It's going to be something dumb. Like I get into the shop, it has members club. And then I go to members club and there's a trinket in the basement there. That's how I'm going to get a trinket.
Options is great. More chances to spawn trinkets. I only have a few rooms. I wish I'd have had this a long time ago. I want the chest. Can you get off my nuts, spike balls? You know what? Let's just use another bomb. Use another bomb. We still haven't found the treasure room, so there's a little bit more to explore. There's also potentially a super secret room. Chest. Curse room. This is ridiculous. Where are my rotten baby flies at? Ow. We have the treasure room and the super secret room. I took the random item because it was something that could have gotten me a tr A fucking trinket! In the last room! Wow. <laughs> wow. That's, that's, that's dumb. That's so stupid. Let's go check the super secret room, which I think is going to be right here. I could have taken the Spelunker hat. No, it's not there. Um, I could have taken the Spelunker hat to, like, show me where it was. Okay. Another trinket. Look at that. Although, I want that trinket. Minus one charge needed for spacebar items? Yeah. So, we found two trinkets. One that is cracked key fodder. <gasps> I can't get out! Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I can't get out and go get my AAA battery. That's actually fine. Let's go. I I'm okay with that. It's gone. Just get over it. Oh, cracked key. It's here. I found it. I have seven damage and two tier rate. I don't know if I'm going to be able to beat the beast or even make it to home, but Rotten Baby is going to be MVP here. Hive Minded Rotten Baby is going to be the MVP. Okay. Eternal heart. Let's go. I can go back to the boss room. Uh, yeah, let's just get out of here. We got the cracked key. We got an eternal heart. Full card, meh. Farting baby. Oh, 
I'm I'm so relieved I found a fucking trinket. Why am I so bad at this game? Why am I not using sulfur? Who's left there? High Priestess? Nope. Crack key. I was hoping it'd be Hierophant or something. That's why I picked it up instead of whatever the other thing was. All right. Set on up. Ugh. Rotten baby's doing most of the damage. <clears throat> oh god. Black hearts. Yeah. Yeah, we'll open these chests. Dim bulb? I don't have a trinket. That means when I sulfur, I will get a lot of stuff. So let my cracked key. Let's head on up. Save me there. Boom. If we find a new lock chest, I guess, maybe. Mm. Magic mush? Yeah, this is going to be one of the worst builds I've ever attempted to beat the beast with. But I'll be able to have multiple brimstones. And in the dogma fight, when I brimstone, I will. Are you going to go fly? There you go. Jeez, old Pete. I think that chest is like, you should blow up these mushrooms. I'm like, okay. Damn. Go to the treasure room. Let's head on up. Whoa, that was risky. Another trinket. It's like, I don't need them now. Rotten baby just annihilating stuff, one-shotting things left and right. Don't need any of that stuff. Let's head on up. Basement two. I could brimstone this room. I think there's other rooms I'd want to brimstone. Uh, Hierophant. This is one of those rooms I want to brimstone. There we go. Oh yeah, the butter bean. Forgot about that, it was so long ago. All I cared about was trinkets for the longest time. I forgot what other items I had. Hey, rotten baby, I'm just going to let your flies do the work. Thank you. Thank you. Look, another 
trinket. Magician. That would be good, but I only have one slot and I need to use it for the correct key. We've stopped finding soul hearts, which is unfortunate. Okay. Dingle. Dead. Missing page or the Empress. So here's all the trinkets you need. It's like, no. I mean, Dim Bulb is going to be a pretty good one. Kill the pooter first. I don't, did not even see what hit me. God, if it takes me this long to kill this guy, imagine how long it's going to take me to kill Dogma. The tower? Nope. Again, I keep picking up these cards, hoping they're Hierophant. Mm. All right, heading on up. I'm not going to go backtrack for that other room. Cracked key in tow. We're going to brimstone this room. Brimstone dim bulb, or sulfur dim bulb. I mean, Blackheart's good. Uh, I'll take it. That was the room that Farting Baby was in. I remember Farting Baby. He was the first thing I got. Hey, look, it's a bunch of little haunt things, because it's always a bunch of little haunt things. What would be cool is if I ran into a beggar. Go, rotten baby. Did I mention MVP, rotten baby? You're seeing it in action right now. Two tier rate, seven damage. Approaching home. But hive minded rotten baby. I, I think hive mind means it does double damage, so it's doing 28 damage per fly. Because flies normally do double my damage, and then they do double their damage when they're hive minded, or is it 150%? I, I don't actually know the numbers. They're doing quite a bit of damage. Hey, look, the petrified poop. A little late for that. Farty, farting baby being a pal. Oh, this is not who I wanted to see here. Come on. Nope. That ain't it. Okay. Another one of these things and two of those things. Farting baby just absorbing that uh, exploding shot. Farting baby being a bro. I'm looking for a beggar. Or just any room reward soul hearts. Hell, this might be the last room. I mean, it is the way up. It's the second to last room. How many of these enemies are going to be on this floor? And how many times is farting baby going to just be the best item? One too few, I guess, was the answer. All right. We're heading up to home. 
We do have the correct key. And a regular key. Something good. Wheel of Fortune. Ooh. We got a lot of money. Okay. Let's use the Wheel of Fortune machine. And have it spawn a fortune telling machine. Oh. I was hoping. What I need from mom's chest. All right, Tainted Samson. We got Tainted Samson. What I need from mom's chest is the tier rate one. Not that. All right, well. Here we go. Can I blow this up for pills? Get another tears down pill? No. Probably have tried that already. All right. Let's do this. Sulfur. That does give me a shit ton of speed, some damage, better tear rate because of my dim bulb. Better damage means my, um, wow, he shot it right at my face. And I ran into it on my own volition there. But that is increasing my damage. I don't know if I'll keep that into the beast fight. I know I won't have my dim bulb in the beast fight until I use it for um, all the harbingers. Oh boy. Um, okay. I need to not focus on trying to deal damage to him. I need to focus on dodging the feathers. Okay, that should be the last one. Okay, this move is fine. Now they don't have the guillotine like I did last run. Alrighty, dead? Rotten baby getting the last hit. Okay, this is going to be an adventure. Especially until I get Brimstone. But if I survive all the way to the beast, I will have Super Brimstone for him. So. Hey, my fly actually went there. What is slowing them? Like, I, I know the, um, I have the, whatchamacallit, the stopwatch, but I didn't think that made all the enemies have the slow, uh, symbol above their head. And something is giving them extra slow. Stay behind farting, baby, and everything will be okay. All right, we killed Famine. We're going to get our sulfur back. Let's go. I'm not close enough for my flies to get there. From Rotten Baby. He's actually making this go slowly. Come on, Rotten Baby. What makes that? Oh, it attacked. Oh, there goes my dogma shield. Great. I was just trying to get the flies in there because they're doing most of the damage. All right, they're keeping those flies off of me. All right, he's dead. War time. I'm going to lose my stats for um, Dim Bulb. Oh, I'm not going to have the Dim Bulb stats for Beast, but that's probably fine. I would rather have... Ow. I forgot that that went all the way across the fucking map. Hmm. <laughs> So slow. Stopwatch was a huge pickup, and Hive Mind was totally worth it. No, I'm cornered. Oh my gosh. He's dead, is what he is. Now we get Super Brimstone. Let's fucking go. 6 HP. Boom. Boom. Super Brimstone with Dim Bulb active. So 
time to bring in the skulls yet? Yep, it's time to bring in the skulls. Kill death before the skulls get to me. Nope. Okay. We might just pull this out. I will not have the dim bulb, but I will have super brimstone. And hot bombs. Hot homing bombs. All right, last bomb. Now we just gotta dodge. I think we got this. Oh, your brimstone's bigger, I see. Are my flies ever gonna go hit him? He's active. No, I guess not. I'd let go of Brimstone too early. Yep, I now just have a fly hovering around me instead of attacking. Rotten, oh my god. Oh, this move. It's been a long time since I've seen this move. I think I say that every time I see this move, but it's still, it still, it holds true. I do not see it every time I play the beast. <sighs> Ow. Uh-oh. I need to stop taking damage. What is that occasionally shooting that one shot? Is that... Ow. I need to stop not paying attention. The fact that my rotten baby fly has been hovering on me for the past, like two back and forths. Oh, farting baby! MVP! <laughs> farting baby farted away those rocks. One more brimstone did it to put him into his final phase. I need to make sure my brimstone's charged. Take that extra half a second Make sure Brimstone's charged rather than letting it go early. Because letting it go early wastes more time than charging it up half a second too much. You know what I mean? Ugh. We might see if the beast has a move after this. I don't think she does. Is it he or she? I don't fucking know. But I don't think I don't think it does. Uh, it's just gonna keep chasing you until it's dead or you're dead. And more than likely, it's dead. Hey, I got another sulfur charge. <laughs> oh, empty heart has appeared in the basement. I don't know if I like that item. But more importantly, we got the mark. Oh God, I'm tired. Uh, I got the mark. And I unlocked Tainted Samson. I did not think that we were going to get either one of them. Because we hadn't found a trinket until the last room on Gehenna. And we had like two tier rate seven damage. But then we found the Dim Bolt, which helped out a lot. Sulfur is just a good item. So yeah. That was... Oof. It usually doesn't happen like that. It's usually like, God, this run's going great. And then it all goes to shit. 
instead of, God, this runs shitty, I need something good to happen, and then right at the last second it happens. <laughs> but, yeah, anyway. Uh, that'll do it for this video. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, or I hope you liked it. If you did, please hit that like button. And if you want to see more from my channel, feel free to subscribe. Hope to see you guys in the future. But in the meantime, take care. I think it has knockout drops, though. It has homing brim, and that's all I need to know. Sharp key. Well, okay. It's a lot of keys, so I take the 15 cent blind item. Sure. Took him in the wrong order, but whatever.